Hey fellow Star Wars fan and gamers, welcome to Joystick News. Today, we jump into light speed and exploring the universe of Star Wars The Old Republic. Released in 2011 as a sequel to the iconic Night of the Old Republic series, Star Wars The Old Republic has seen a decade of expansions, content updates, and a major shift in the gameplay model. Let's dive into the epic saga and see what 2024 holds for this beloved MMO. Star Wars The Old Republic launch in 2011 was more than just the release of a new game. It was the unveiling of a vast interactive Star Wars universe. This MMO RPG set in the rich lore of Star Wars, promised an unparalleled experience. Over the years, the game has seen substantial growth and transformation, driven by both player feedback and of industry trends. One of the most significant changes was the introduction of Expansion Pack. These expansions such as Rise of the Heart Cartel, Shadow of Riven, and Knight of the Eternal Throne not only added new content but also deepened the storyline, making the universe more immersive and complex. Each expansion brought new planets to explore, quests to undertake, and challenges to overcome, continually renewing the game apparel. Alongside content up updates, Star Wars The Old Republic underwent a crucial shift in its business model, transforming from a subscription-based system to a free-to-play model. The game became accessible to a much wider audience. This change was pivotal in sustaining and growing the game player base. It allowed new players to explore the Star Wars universe without any upfront commitment. While still offering premium content and benefit to subscribe as long time player i've witnessed this change firsthand the journey through the expanding universe of star wars the old republic has been thrilling marked by epic storyline engaging combat and the ever present allure of the dark and light side of the force the game has continually evolved reflecting both the developer vision and the player desires making its unique experience in the MMORPG genre. 2023 marked the significant turning point for Star Wars The Old Republic. The stewardship of the game transitioned from BioWare, a studio renowned for its narrative driving single player experiences, to broadsword online games. A developer with a strong background in maintaining and evolving MMO. RPGs. This transition was met with a blend of anticipation and concern among the player community. Beware, known for creating deep story rich games like Dragon Age and Mass Effect and nurtured Star Wars The Old Republic. Since its inception, the move to Broad Sword therefore raised questions about the game future direction. However, Broadsword Online game, with its expertise in MMO development, brought a new perspective to Star Wars The Old Republic. They have a track record of managing and updating long-standing MMO titles, such as The Ultimate Online and Dark Age of Camelot. This experience suggested potential for fresh approaches to Star Wars The Old Republic gameplay, content, updates, and community engagement. For many players, including myself, this shift signaled not just a change in management, but an opportunity for Star Wars The Old Republic to grow in new ways. While some players expressed concern about the future, others saw a chance for the game to embrace its MMO elements more fully and expand its horizons. In this critical year of transition, Star Wars The Old Republic stood at a crossroad. The move to Broadsword Online games opened up possibilities for the game to renovate itself, promising to maintain the essence of Star Wars experience while exploring new direction in gameplay and story development. Looking ahead to 2024, Star Wars The Old Republic continued to be a heaven for Star Wars lore and storytelling. Despite the changes in management, the game core essence remained intact. Each of the 
eight unique class stories offer a rich narrative with approximately 30 to 16 hours of gameplay just in the base game and that's before diving into the expansions this extensive content provide not just hours but days worth of immersive star wars adventure as i played through these stories in 2024 the game capacity to captivate with its lore characters and planets is as strong as ever each class bring a unique perspective to the galaxy from the honor bound jedi to the conan set the resourceful smugglers and the relentless bounty hunter these stories weave together to create a tapestry that feels authentically star wars yet distinct from any film or series the expansions build on this foundation taking player on a journey that exceed or extend the depth and breadth of the star wars universe star wars the old republic stands out for its successful blend of mmo rpg elements with a strong single player narrative this unique fusion allows players to experience star wars the old republic as a story driven rpg the game respects the player choice of engagement whatever you hear for the epic group raid and P pvp battles or for the rich narrative driven solo experience star wars the old republic caters to both preferences in 2024 this balance remain one of star wars the old republic greatest strength the game offered the social and cooperative aspects of an mmo while preserving the death and personal journey of a single player rpg this approach enables players who prefer story progression over loot and guilt to fully enjoy the game in their own way making star wars the old republic career gem in the genre for any star wars fan playing uh, Star Wars Old, The Old Republic in 2024 is essential. The game is not just an adventure, it's a journey through a crucial era in the Star Wars timeline. Set in the expansive universe of Star Wars legend, Star Wars The Old Republic offers a narrative rich and that, that goes beyond the mainstream canon. As a player, you have the opportunity to experience the galaxy from multiple viewpoints wherever you choose the path of the jedi engage in the political intrigue or the set embark on daring escapade as a smuggler or carve your path as a bounty hunter star wars the old republic offers a diverse and rich experience the game allows you to explore corners of the star wars universe that are unique to this platform giving a new set understanding of the force that shaped this galaxy in 2024 star wars the old republic remain an appellate adventure for anyone who cherishes the star wars universe the transition of star wars the old republic to broadsword online games ushers in a new era of the, for the game broadsword reputation as a dedicated mmo developer bring fresh hope and possibilities their experience in managing long-standing titles like ultima online and dark age of camelot suggests a promising future for star wars the old republic under broadway sword the focus is likely to be on nurturing and expanding star wars the old republic universe while maintaining the single player rpg experience that fans love Broadward might introduce new elements to enhance the MMO aspect. This could mean more community driven experiences, innovative content updates, and perhaps a deeper dive into the multiple player facets of the game. As a player and a fan, I'm excited to see how Broadsword will influence Star Wars The Old Republic trajectory. Their specialization in MMO brings a level of expertise that could lead to exciting development in a gameplay, story expansion, and community engagement. One of the standout future of Star Wars The Old Republic in 2024 is the commitment to an accessible free-to-play model. In a gaming landscape where microtransaction and pay-to-win strategy are common, Star Wars The Old Republic, this 
distinguished itself by offering a full, rich gaming experience without requiring players to spend extra money. The absence of pay to win shame in uh, Star Wars The Old Republic means that player progression and success are based on skill and strategy, not the debt of their pocket. This approach respects the player time and effort, making the game more rewarding and enjoyable. Additionally, the free-to-play model makes Star Wars The Old Republic accessible to a wider audience, allowing more players to explore its vast Star Wars universe without financially barriers. Star Wars The Old Republic model is a breath of fresh air, especially under the umbrella of a publisher like Electronic Arts, which has often been criticized for its approach to microtransactions. Star Wars The Old Republic stand as a testament to the viability and success of free-to-play models in providing quality content and fair play. Reflecting on the journey of Star Wars The Old Republic, I'm filled with nostalgia and excitement from its initial release to the recent transition to broadsword online games. Star Wars The Old Republic has been a significant and enjoyable part of my gaming experience. The game has not only provided countless hours of engaging gameplay, but has also deepened my appreciation for the Star Wars universe. Looking ahead, I'm optimistic about Star Wars The Old Republic future. The game commitment to storytelling, immersive gameplay, combined with broadsword expertise in MMO development, set the stage for an exciting new chapter. I eagerly anticipate the adventures and stories that await in their ever-expanding galaxy. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of Star Wars The Old Republic. Whenever you long-time player or new to the game, Star Wars The Old Republic universe has something for everyone. What's your favorite class story and or expansion in Star Wars The Old Republic? Share your experiences and thoughts in the comments below and remember to like subscribe and ring that bell for more in-depth gaming discussions until our next adventure may the force be with you